I'm Evelyn. I'm the director of the Department of Neighborhood Development, and we're out here today on uh, Friday the 23rd of April for the first day of Boston Shines. And Department of Neighborhood Development is here in Hyde Square, cleaning up Hyde Square, but we've done some other um, areas in other, on other days of Boston Shines in other years. We have a team of about 50 people. You can see there's a lot going on in Hyde Square. There's a big development across the street here, which is the Blessed Sacrament. Um, it's 30 units of housing and retail space. Um, and we're trying to clean and shine Boston. This is our little section of Boston here, but there are many other people doing things all over the city. This is Mayor Menino's um, 15th year doing Boston Shines, and there are people planting gardens, um, pl cleaning up playgrounds, and doing the things that we're doing, like cleaning the streets. This is my uh, second year with the DND Boston Shine program and event. Uh, High Jackson is a quite interesting neighborhood. It, I would say there's over a hundred businesses. It is really up to us. I mean, we have some responsibility as neighbors as community residents, as city, city residents, to take care of our properties and to take care of whether it's city land or state land. I mean, I can remember, you know, my old people, my grandmother, sweeping the stairs and sweeping the sidewalk. It was not that belongs to the city or I pay tax dollars. You know, this is about our city, our neighborhood, Nuestro Barrio, and we should have some, you know, uh, individual pride and uh, responsibility. Hello there, this is Barry Kinnett. Uh, we're out in the streets of uh, Hyde Square, cleaning up on our uh, Boston Shines. And uh, we're doing a great job here. It's so wonderful to get out into the neighborhoods. We don't do that often enough. And what we're finding is, is uh, neighborhoods like uh, Hyde Jackson Square, it's, it's well maintained. It needs a little help, but it's, uh, it's clean and uh, um, it's just a real treat to be out here doing this for the afternoon. Good afternoon. We're here on Boston Shines. This is Raphael Carbonell. I'm the Deputy Director at the Office of Business Development. And I'd like to introduce one of our top performing Main Street's directors. Hi, my name is Carlos Kilechi. Thank you, Rafael. I'm the Executive Director of High Jackson Square Main Street. Great. Carlos, thank you very much for having us here today in your district. Thank you for getting the food, getting this organized. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here and maybe some, some of your projects you've been working on that you're most proud of. Well, I think the projects that I'm most proud of in the last 12 months, that is pretty much when I started, we have been able to secure a storefront grants for a storefront improvement grants for uh, 10 businesses, and most of them are going to be completed by this summer. Mm -hmm. And um, all, again, it all was made possible thanks to the city of Boston and your department. Well, thank you, Carlos. It's been a great partnership working with you. Muchísimas gracias. So tell us a little bit about, as you look out over the next year, five, maybe even ten years, what's your vision for High Jackson uh, Square Main Street? Well, as I always mention, uh, our, our motto is changing uh, center street one storefront at a time. We wanted to help the merchants to create a more inviting uh, um, a street, you know, a commercial district, so it can become a destination. Mm -hmm. After all, we are Boston Latin Quarter, mm -hmm. and we really want to people to know that we're here, and the best, you know, Latino restaurants are are here. Que bueno, el distrito latino de Boston. So tell us a little more about behind that. Where did that name come from? What does it mean to you? We got to imagine it's going to have some flair, some mm -hmm. flavor to it. What, what what does that mean to you? The Boston's Latin Quarter. Well, the Boston Latin Quarter means that um, we have, like I say, very large concentration of Latino people uh, from many different countries, and uh, also um, I would say 90 percent of all the business owners on this district are Latinos. Uh, we uh, also wanted to preserve the the Hispanic tradition and uh, the, his, the Hispanic heritage for the on the area. Mm. Qué rico, qué bueno. Mm -hmm. So, as you have D and D and the city of Boston are helping you, what does that mean to you as we look to to shine on Boston? It means a lot to me. It's, it's, I feel very honored that the D and D had decided to come to our district. So thank you for that. Yeah. Well, our pleasure, and thank you for all your great work, Carlos. Muchísimas gracias. Let's go shine. Okay, let's go shine. Nice. Ciao. Ciao.